Uh, would you autograph your book for me? Just make it out to Fred. Fred Clausen. It's not my book. Isn't it? No. No. Look here. Hmm? Pictures of phony. The name, too. George Stark. Phony. I know all about it. It's my turn to be storyteller, okay? There's this writer, see? Let's call him Beaumont. He writes a couple of highbrow books about yuppies and faggots. The critics rave, but nobody buys. So, he changes his style. He starts writing about tits and tough guys. He dreams up this badass character. A machine. Yeah. Lexus machine. He calls himself George Stark. I guess so maybe his mother won't find out he's writing this shit. He slaps a phony picture on the back, boom. He sells a million copies. So he writes three more of these things. Boom, boom, boom. They all hit the charts. He gets rich. Not that rich. Rich enough, I think. <laughs> rich enough. So what's he going to write next? He's going to write me a nice big check if he wants me to keep my mouth shut about this. And if he doesn't want? What if he doesn't care what you do? Oh, he wants. He cares. And if he doesn't, the people around him do. They got a major league scam going here. There's a million Americans out there just waiting to lay out their hard-earned, what, 29 and change for George Stark to give him another hard-on. They believe in George Stark. They believe he's writing about shit he knows, shit that he's maybe even done. They find out they've been lied to, that 29 and change might just go back in the pocket. And I don't think you or the people around you want to take that chance. How'd you find out? I uh, ran into this babe who works for your publisher. See, I live in New York. And she'd give me the whole story. It's like Machine says in your book there. At 9 o'clock she came. At 10 o'clock she came across. 